how's it going youtube i know it's been a while since i've done a video we need to have a bit of a catch up don't we but for this video we've got a bit of work we've got to do on the camper because i need to get something sorted out as you can see there i've got a pioneer touchscreen uh car play thing and i'm not particularly that happy with it it weren't actually that cheap to be honest it's not it's not a, a new model this one it's it's getting on a little bit but they're not cheap these things one of the main reasons i want to change this is because i want to go to wireless carplay i've got a cable up here that i plug my iphone into and then i normally just leave it on there when i want to use the carplay but obviously when the sun's out the sun comes in through the windscreen heats the phone up and it overheats and really doesn't like it what i've been doing is just shoving it in there out of the way and just putting the cable in but it's a bit of a pain keep doing that i'd rather go wireless the other thing is the display on this thing is not the best thing because the angle in the volkswagen is angled back normally in a car you're sat like that looking down on the radio whereas this one we're looking up on the radio i've played around with the contrast and the brightness and things like that it's not the highest resolution display it's not it's not the best display the new ones are probably are probably okay but this particular one isn't and i need to change it and the new ones are really expensive ignore the weird bulgy bits on my dashboard i need to take that off and repaint it and make it all nice again but we're going to change this out today let's have a look what we've got right we need to have a catch up on that because as you can see it's finished so in one of the next videos we're going to have a catch up on this and have a good chat about it and see where we are because there might be some really exciting news coming up about this one as well the one i've got is an atoto a6 stereo i've gone for this one because it's got wireless carplay and it's a decent price as well it's on amazon at the minute of 299 pounds so it makes it a good price when you when you're comparing it against the pioneers and things like that and these have got some good reviews as well it runs on the android 10.0 uh, software and it's got a nice 1280 by 720 ips screen so we, sh we should get a nice view out of this as well i've gone for the one that's got the bigger screen we'll have a look at that in a minute the reason i've done that is because on my dashboard i've got a bit of room around the radio when we when we fit it we'll go out and we'll see you'll see what i mean they do a version of this that's on a normal doubled in size screen so it won't overlap anything and it'll fit in nice if, if you've got no room around your radio i'm lucky because i have so that's why i went for this one so let's open it up and have a look what we get step-by-step -step guides how to set everything up hopefully we won't be needing those but we'll keep them to one side just in case under here obviously it's the stereo itself as you can see it's a nice big screen there's the size of the double din this is how much we're overlapping as we go around the edge so it's a bit bigger than normal this is a nine inch screen it's got the capacitive buttons so that should be nice to control they're at the bottom as i said my pioneer it's on the left hand side and it causes a few issues when when i'm reaching across to do it because obviously i'm in the uk it's right hand drive vehicle across the bottom should make things a lot nicer so we'll have a look at that as well on the back we've got all the plugs for the looms we'll have a look at those in a second and the plugs down the back for the antenna and the gps and everything else one of the things with this stereo as well is because it's not very deep it makes it a bit easier when you're squishing all the wires behind normal stereos they're quite deep behind so it's a bit of a squish this one should be all right nice easy one to fit also in the box we get another box let's move this to one side in the second box there's all your wiring we've got various wiring looms these are on the iso standard plugs uh, so we should be able to plug straight in this second one there's two types that you get in a lot of cars now and really the only main difference is if you look here you've got the red wire there and the yellow wire there on this one you've got the yellow wire there and the red wire there what you find on, a, on some cars i can't remember which make it is but there's some of them the permanent live and the ignition live are switched over so you just need to find out which one you need or which way around it goes but i'm sure 
all the rest of the wires should be exactly the same. That is literally the only difference, which it looks like it is. So I'll find out which one I've got when we go and plug it in, because obviously with the Pioneer being already there, I should be able to plug ISO plugs straight in and just use this loom, and we shouldn't really have a lot of wiring to do at all. If you haven't got the ISO plugs, you've got a wiring loom there that you can wire everything straight up. Everything's labelled up, rear left, rear right. Uh, a lot of cars you'll find, they use a standard colouring code, so it probably should be colour to colour on most cars anyway. We've got a microphone, GPS antenna, that's good as well because the one on the Pioneer I had to buy separately as an extra and without that it wouldn't set the time, it was a bit strange. But we've got one in this. It looks like here we've got some fitting plates, uh, we've got two USB cables here, one is for the external storage so you can have your USB stick or whatever to keep your music and your films on and the other one is the phone link. So I suppose that's if we're using uh, wired CarPlay or on this particular version, uh, the Android, uh, yeah, I think the mirror link it is, it's called, isn't it, on the Android. That's on a, a wired system. It's only the CarPlay one that's wireless. I use an iPhone, so it's the CarPlay is the one that's important to me. Here we've got the extra loom with the video inputs and things if you've got anything else coming in. I think it's got a subwoofer output on this as well, I've just seen. Subwoofer, we've got a subwoofer in the van so we'll be wiring that up. Uh, and this is for the microphone and other little bits. And I've, this second loom here is for the rear uh, reversing camera. We've actually got one of those, we'll have a look at that in a minute as well. Here is something I don't need, but this gives us a low output converter. So we can go straight from the speakers to these low output converters, and then this can be used for amplified outputs for your front and rear speakers. I don't need these, but it's good that they include them. And that's everything that comes in this box. I got the optional extra of the reversing camera. Let's have a look at that. In the box, we get the wiring instructions, little mounting plate, wiring loom with the power and the video and then the camera itself it's a nice little quality square camera so we'll have a look at that uh, i've got the camera on the back of the vehicle now is is quite a nice one as well so what i might do is i might mount one on the front so i can see how close i'm getting to things well, so we'll have a play with that later but this is a nice little camera it feels nice and solid as well actually so what we'll do is we'll get the old pioneer out and we'll have a look at getting this one installed let's have a look at the difference in size as well and see what see what the difference is right first job i need to get this pioneer out get this out of the way so let's get these few bits out and i should be able to push this from the back actually if i can get my fingers behind here I'll get that one removed. Right, I'll get all this unplugged and then we'll have a look what we've got. Right, there we are, everything's out. Uh, what I've done is I've been setting up these brackets here. Uh, if I show you this one, I've screwed these brackets together. If I just push that one into that gap there, then that's going to hold the new stereo when that slides in. What I'll do is I'll try it in in a minute and I'll adjust this forwards and backwards to set it up to get the right depth in there. Uh, what I was saying earlier about this red and yellow being swapped around on different vehicles for the permanent live and the ignition live, you can see mine, mine was the opposite to what it was supposed to be because I've cut these wires and I've swapped them over. I did that when I fitted the Pioneer. So rather than messing about with all that again, I'm literally out of this box of bits. I'm just going to find the one that matches that one look with the red at the top and the yellow round at the bottom so i'm going to use that loom there i've got a bit of wiring to do to add in uh the amplifier and a, and a few other bits so we'll have a look at that in a second but for now i'm just going to move these wires out of the way and i'm just going to try this stereo in the slot right i've just pushed it back just to see how it fits in it fits absolutely perfect in this t5 look because it, it literally where it comes up to is right at the edge there 
So the, there's literally a little lip, so it fits in perfect. It doesn't cover any of the buttons. They're all accessible. It goes right up to the top. It's literally like it was made for that gap. So I'm really happy with that. It fits better than what I thought it was going to. So it's, it's a lot bigger than the other one, isn't it? Right, so what I'll do is I'll pull it back out. Let's wire it up properly. All right, here we are. Let's see if we can have a look what I've wired up. I've used the ISO uh, connector there and just plugged it straight in. Um, the only thing I had to wire up on that one is this rear camera wire here. I've used little Wago connectors. Anybody that's an electrician will know that these are really good. It makes things a lot easier. So I've got the, the rear camera wired up. I've actually got a wire already in there from the Pioneer system, so I don't have to run this one out. I've got boxes and things everywhere here. So this, this loom that's in here, I don't actually have to wire that one up because I've already got uh, a loom wired in. But if you look at this, just to see how it's wired up, is it's wired into the reverse light and then the feed comes back through and then this here is a positive from the reverse light so when i put it in reverse this puts a positive on there and it puts sends a signal down there to turn the camera on uh, then we've got the camera video feed which i've plugged into this next little loom here uh, the next little loom i've wired up is for the subwoofer so I've got an RCA lead going out to the subwoofer and this one I've wired up, which is the power out to the amplifier. So that goes down that wire there. This black cable, I can't remember what it is, but I had it wired up, so it must be for something useful. I've just wired it up again. I honestly can't remember what it, where it goes. So we'll find out sometime, I suppose. So really, the next thing I've got to wire in is... You see here this cable this is for this microphone there so i've got to take that out i've got to swap it for this microphone reason being is because this has got a little 3.5 mil jack whereas this one it's got the little smaller one i think it's two mil or something like that i can't remember but i can't use this one anyway i've got to swap it out for that microphone so i'll do that in a second the other thing I've got to run out is this GPS aerial there. I've taken the Pioneer one out because it's on a different plug. I've got to run that out somewhere and I'll put it out over on my dash over there somewhere. Uh, or just behind the dashboard, just so it can get a bit of a signal. I'm going to run those out. I'm going to plug this in and then we'll see what it's like when it switches on. Before we do that, there's a size comparison between a standard doubled in radio and this nine inch one. There we are, that's all wired in. That fits perfect, like I said, that really fills up the dash. I've fitted the GPS aerial down there because I've had the underneath of the dash here apart so I could fit this microphone. So while I had all that apart, I've run the wires across for the GPS and the phone, uh, and the phone microphone together. So they're all mounted, the radio's mounted. What you can see in here is the phone link cable. It's just coming out the back down there. I've run that round so I can pull it out if I need it to. And I can use that to plug in uh, Android device if I want to. Or I can plug in my phone if it's, if it's on CarPlay and the battery's getting low, then I'm sure that'll charge it up as well. Right, so if I turn on the ignition, We'll see how fast it starts up. There you are, straight away it's on. That's quite a quick start up because that's running on Android, remember, Android 10. So what I'll do is I'll have a play around with it for a few days. I'll figure out how to use it and then I can give you guys a good talk around all the features and everything. And we can see what it does, can't we? So I'll see you back here in a second after I know what I'm doing. Right, I've had it in for a week now. We've been away to the Peak District and I've had a good play with it, so. I kind of know what I'm doing with what I need to know, so let's have a look around it. Right, there's one thing I've changed since I've fitted it. Anybody that knows the T5, the radio, the standard radio that's in it, is when the sun's up right and high in the sky and it's nice and bright like it is today, it's always reflecting off the screen and you can't see anything. So what I've done is I've changed the angle. 
you can see there it's tilted forward a bit so now when you're looking at it it's a good angle right if i turn the ignition on let's see how fast it fires up into the android auto there we are it's literally straight on so i've wired up the reverse camera it's my camera it's not this one this one is the toto one i've not got around to fitting that one yet because i've got to strip the rear door down to to get to the cables to plug it in i will get around to that eventually so if i stick it into reverse it's straight on with the camera as you can see there's our rear view that view is my camera obviously right so if you're getting in your car straight in key in start your engine bang it in reverse that's how quick you've got a reverse camera nothing wrong with that at all Right, so if we have a look around some of the Android Auto features, here we've got the radio. I've got it muted at the minute. It's the Can woman's it? final on the We'll leave it muted while we're doing this. Uh, but it's, this is just the same as any other radio. It's got all the usual options. Uh, if you press and hold, it'll scan. Finds its next station. If you want to save it, just press and hold for a few seconds and then it saves it and then that's it done same as any other radio lots of little options around here as well it's not dab it's normal radio uh, your normal analog radio but it's there as an option same as any other android device you can rearrange the screen and you can move things around how you want them to be and you can add widgets and everything else and just literally personalize it to how you want it to be i've left this more or less as it is because i just haven't had time to sit around and play with it yet but i will move all these menus around and get them to how i want to be right on these stereos there's a few ways of connecting to the internet if i go into settings uh you've got wireless lan you can connect by wi-fi uh if you use your phone and just set it up as a as a wireless hotspot or something you can you can turn that on and connect like that if we go into device, you set up your Bluetooth device. I've got my iPhone uh, paired to this. You need to do that anyway for the wireless CarPlay. So once it's paired, you get a few authorizations you need to give. Once you've given that, you, you, then they're there forever. So it, it'll, it'll connect to CarPlay automatically then. Uh, I'll show you how to do that after this. But there's a few ways to connect to the internet normally. Uh, once you've got your phone paired, if you go into the settings for the phone, and it's got there you can see internet access and if i turn that on now when i go back to the main screen if we go to uh, say youtube we can connect to the internet so if i go into one of my videos i'm not in the best spot for connection Cleaning the car. Let's go and have a talk. There we are. YouTube on the car stereo. Right, let's go back to the home screen. I've got a bit of a rubbishy internet connection around here, so it's not this stereo, it's my phone. It's a bit slow at starting up. Wireless CarPlay. As I said, uh, set up the Bluetooth connection. Once it's set up, uh, it's set up then. So when you get in, we literally, we go to this car link too. Press that. And it'll look for the phone assuming you've got it already paired to the stereo it'll find it the first time you do it you will have a few authorizations to give you just press yes and all that sort of stuff and then the next time it won't ask it so it'll be there all the time carplay's carplay i'll not go through how you use your carplay it's just like normal this is what i normally this is normally how i have it i i've set it up so it, it joins to CarPlay because I find it convenient. I use the the TomTom navigation just because I like the little bar that runs up the side that shows you your live traffic and things like that. So this, this is basically how I run it normally on a, an, an everyday sort of thing. So there's CarPlay. This car stereo has got an extensive equaliser. Uh, you can do 
a lot of things on this. Uh, there's obviously the equaliser, so we can have a have a play around, change the music, make it sound how we want it to sound. I'll set that back to pop. And on here we've got built-in crossovers. Uh, as you can see, I've set a high-pass uh, frequency block on the front speakers because these speakers that are standard in there they're a bit rubbishy. So when they've got bass going through them, they they, they kind of vibrate a little bit. So we can set a high pass frequency. We've got a low pass frequency that we can set up as well. If you've got subwoofers in the front, well, obviously I haven't. I've got a subwoofer in the back. So if we go to bass boost, uh, and then there's a sub setting, we can set up the, the low pass frequency block off for that. Uh, as you can see here, we've got a stereo enhancer. I've turned this on and this does lots of weird things. It does like an automatic low pass. It's got a, a little microphone that it uses to, to set up the, the sound and it, it does it actually does a really good job of it. So there's a, a lot of different settings, time correction, sound field. You can adjust uh, where you want the sound to be aimed at. So it, it'll turn up the speakers on this side and, and it, it balances out. So you're pinpointing where you want the sound. Right, obviously you've got the normal navigation, uh, which you get as part of Android. We've got the GPS uh, module there. So assuming you're connected to internet, you can set up whatever navigation app you want. Uh, in the settings, you can change uh, which, which app this starts up. So if you're using uh, ways or anything like that you can use that instead obviously you've got your hands free so you've got all your contacts your normal phone there we've got a microphone up there i tested this the other day and it's actually uh sounds really good it's a good signal uh the person on the other end said the microphone was good as well they could hear hear really well so the the phone side of it works quite well as well which is good Okay, this one is if you've got any films or music or anything like that, you've got a bit of storage space, you can stick them on there. On the install, we saw the USB, so you can plug in uh, a drive and this is where all your files would show up for your music and films or, or whatever. So that's, that's like your media portal. Lots of little built-in apps already. Uh, some of them do things, some of them don't. Uh, I've not gone through all of these yet, but you've got the usual uh, things and you especially you've got the Play Store. So you can start the Play Store up. So any of your favorite apps, you can download them. I've done it actually with one here. Uh, I've downloaded Blink. So if I need to, I can pull up my cameras at home. There's my next door neighbor walking past my car. So I can see my cameras. Now uh, this stereo has got talk built in as well. So this is a really good app. I've used, I've used this before. Uh, so if you've got one of these, a little Bluetooth OBD module, you can plug that in and connect it to your Bluetooth, but you can set up little gauges here for all your, your oil pressure and things like that. So if you're into that sort of thing, this is a good little thing to have and this is this is built into the the stereo so it's not a bad thing actually right in the settings uh there is a massive amount of things you can do i'm not going to go through all of these but you you can change a lot of the settings and you can customize this to be exactly how you want it to be but as i said i use it in apple carplay mode uh, that's already switched on straight away. You see that how quick it is. And this is this is how I run day to day. And the best thing for me is it's wireless. You've got a little battery gauge there so you can see how your battery's doing on the phone. So if you do need to plug it in, you can plug it in. But I just leave this in my pocket and this is an absolute lifesaver for me because the amount of times I've plugged my phone into CarPlay, left it in the glove box, glove box, and I've walked off, done my shopping, and forgot my phone. And then I've needed it to pay for something, because I don't normally carry a wallet around with me. So now I've got my phone in my pocket, and I'm happy. And I've got my CarPlay and everything as I need it to be.
So as a whole, I'm really happy with this radio. It does exactly what I want it to do. The screen size is nice as well. I think it fits in nicely with the Volkswagen because it's it, it doesn't overlap anything, which is which is quite an important thing when you're going for a big screen. You don't want to be covering up buttons that you need to press, do you? Um, this one this one fits really nice. So if anybody's interested in this particular radio or any of the Toto range, I'll put a link in the description. Um, a Toto have given me a, a discount code as well for this, so I'll put that in the in the description. See if you can save you guys a, a bit more money on these if you're interested in buying one. But I'm I'm impressed with it. It's a it's a good little piece of kit, and especially for the money as well because it was considerably cheaper than the Pioneers are the newer versions, and it does exactly what I want. And I mean I'm a I'm a bit of a Apple fanboy, so I, I'm a bit more Apple CarPlay, but on the Android side of things as well, it it really does do well. I'm gonna when I when I get a chance, I'm gonna set up the screen and customize it a bit more. And I might find I might not even use the the Apple CarPlay side. I'll just leave it connected to Bluetooth, so I've got an internet connection to it, and then uh, then it'll do everything I need it to do. So yeah i'm impressed so don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video if you liked it of course hopefully you've, you've learned a bit of something about how to fit this stereo or given a few options about some things you can buy if you if you want and uh i'll catch you guys in another video cheers